and uh, select what do we want? How about black? Black is always um, good for a cape. I'm gonna make a cape. So just fill it with uh, black, and then if you can see the line. Oops, that wasn't me. Uh, click undo. There we go. I undid. I undid it. See, I'm so smart. Yeah, it looks like I can't uh, do edit that line. But yeah, there you go. So basically, if you want uh, your uh, your capes outline to be black, make sure that it's black when you make it. I didn't. I accidentally had it the floor color gray, but oh well, my mistake. Whatever. I'm over it. Go ahead and take the uh, normal tool again, and select and kind of drag select all of this, and then uh, that way you've got all of it selected. Now click one of them and move it. Now you got the whole thing to move. Now there's this green circle in the middle. You want it centered around that. You want that green circle to be inside of your cape because that is your cape base, and it just kind of helps you keep track of everything. It helps lets you move everything at once. It's just easier. I recommend doing that. Um, I don't think it does the same for all the shapes, but just make sure. So once we've got it started, go ahead and come down here to the Not in Animate Editing Mode and click that, and the, the thing will turn red. So now it's um, watching what we do. And if we move this on frame 1, there, now that is a keyframe. I just made a keyframe by putting it there because it is in an, in animate editing mode and it remember what I just did now first we gotta estimate how long would it take for this guy to get to walk from here to here in the middle um, basically you just kinda count one one thousand you know, he kinda just judging by his size he walks about that fast so that's about one second into the middle so uh, find your zero F here on the timeline or uh, if you wanna come down to the time track what, there's 0F and then there's 2S. Now write the very line between those right there, which is about 1, 2, 3, 4 lines from the 0 going up and 4 lines from the 2S going down. Um, that should be your frame 1. And uh, it's still in editing mode, so and uh, we haven't set this keyframe yet. So go ahead and um, move it to the center. Law. There we go. Now, uh, down here, here's the B R B line, and this is the thing next to it. But just go ahead and uh, you can, there. This this is what the um, layers windows does. I forgot to tell you about that, or I did. I just forgot. Whatever. But now that you have that, um, go ahead and use the um, normal tool. Select all make sure you kinda just kind of barely tweak all the vertices the same way that we centered all of them around the green point just to give them their own keyframe see vertices convert yeah there you go I guess I don't know why I clicked convert but there you go that adds a keyframe for the vertices as well that way from here to here if um, if we didn't do that for the vertices and uh, we had the we had that starting keyframe always saves that everything so we didn't have to do anything but if we uh, move to here and then right here we wanted this to start coming back or move around it would move from frame zero and it kind of looks funny so yeah you gotta walk watch out for that and uh, right here we want this kind of nope wait. okay this uh, by clicking away from the black uh, cape and selecting the square I guess um, this select all of the vertices and then click on it again and then select one vert vertice the bottom left one just to kind of give our cape a little movement so there now our cape has um, gone from its... Now see, this is why I say you need to edit the vertices as well. Make sure you kind of tweak them. Um, so, that's your starting vertice point. Kind of move forward a little bit to frame one. And now it's um, it went from standing straight up to leaning. 
during those few frames. <clears throat> now we want it to just kind of fade back to normal. So about one fifth of a second, one fourth, whatever that is, uh, put the vertices back underneath. And then again, all the vertices, tweak them. Basically, to tweak them, you just click and let go. Or click, and then just make sure you select them all, click, move to the right a little bit, and then move right back to where it was, and let go. And that's just tweaking, that's just adding that keyframe. Um, so that we don't have to worry about um, uh, weird movement. Uh, one, now, tweak the, um, the center down a little bit of a bit. There you go. Now it just added that keyframe for your motion. So, through here to here, you can't see it. I'm going to go ahead and use the preview so you can see it moving. But, and you do that by going to this arrow, file, and then click preview in this um, preview options. And I just like to leave that right there and then click preview on the bottom right. And now it's your video. I like to click toggle looping to make it loop and then click play. And now you see that your cape um, starts from the left over here. And then as it moves from the left to the middle, it kind of, um, the bottom falls behind as if it's kind of just waving in the wind or and the top is attached to a neck or something. So that's basically what that movement was for. And then just exit out of that uh, preview window and then you go back to editing. And um, that's basically all I needed that for. So um, I only need two seconds, I guess. So to change your frame options, go to the top thingy arrow on the um, workspace thing and go to Edit, Properties. And then it'll open your uh, editing thing. Here's Image. This is how big uh, the resolution, physical width, and uh, you know that kind of stuff. And then Time. <coughs> And then uh, up here, this is Canvas Info. This is name. This is the name of that uh, that um, workspace window. And then this is just the description. But I like to. I don't really mess with that much. But under time frames per second, I just usually leave that. Um, and then uh, start time. This is zero f, which means zero frames. And then the end time is five s, which is five seconds. Now. You need the F and the S there. I do not know why, it's just how the program has made it. So make sure you don't get rid of the S, or if you do accidentally backspace the S out uh, and retype your number, then make sure you just type S in the end time, and then the start time is F. So just, you know, make sure that you don't mess that up too much. And then click Apply, and then click OK. Now you only have a total of two seconds in your whole animation. One, two. So. Now that that's done, uh, let's go ahead and create a circle for the head. Circle. And then click a yellow for skin, or a, there's actually a couple of really cool tans up here. A really light tan, a really dark tan. Let's pick one in the middle. And then, uh, always, don't um, start up here and then drag it down. Uh, start right in the center of where you want your head, because it's symmetrical. It's a symmetrical shaper, so if you start if you cl where you click is the center of your circle, so there. That's how it works. Now use your um, normal tool and uh, select the um, the center. Now because this is a circle, there are no vertices to have to tweak. So you just have the green center, and it's already in the middle of your circle. So that's basically your motion. Um, down here, it this is kind of confusing for me, but I don't know why, but it's actually putting a square around the cape and the head because it has both of those selected. I don't know why it does that. It's just like that. But you, it doesn't affect the other one. It's just there. So don't worry about that. I kind of got worried about it too one time, and I was like, ah. So anyway, just ignore that. It's fine. If you more feel more comfortable, you just click the circle. Uh, don't click the name because it'll make you edit the name. And then just yeah, just click the circle object do 